You don't ever get that one holler at you just because you you? Yeah, and it's pitiful. I, um, it's bad. You I don't was, love a chick with blue check. No, I and, was. And a um, lot of followers. I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that. I was talking to this and it was around the time why you being weird to me first start going, but it wasn't big, big yet. You know, it's like getting traction. We in the car, I see his phone ring, he pick it up. He say something, he go, no, bro, why you being weird to me? I saw. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones, the big ones. So shout out to my guy Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Man, what's popping? You already know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, is here. J. Hill Podcast. We got special guests in the building. Mona, Demona Love, aka Don't Call Me White Girl. Yeah. Derek, I don't. Do I say your? Do I? Should I? Should I say your whole name? What's my whole name? The Instagram name or my real name? I mean, what's your? What's your, what, what, what you go by, Big Dog? America on Instagram, but if you know me in person, Derek. Oh, I was gonna Derek. say Derek, but I was like, Derek, you know, that's I cool. You know what I'm saying? Derek I was from Boston. I was trying to be careful. <laughs> you from Boston? Nah, that's cool. Yeah, Boston. For and sure. you from Philly? How the hell y'all? Socks. How, how the hell y'all link up? Me and him. Yeah. I used to be a social worker. Yeah. For real, you did ask? Yeah, I used to like place homeless men in the shelters. Wow. Why you? <laughs> That's crazy. How y'all link up for serious. real? Yeah, I gotta help him get So what's, what's your feet. story then, bro? Damn, what's my story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a therapist. And you was a therapist? Like, yeah. <laughs> he a comedian, we comedians. So y'all met like on, on the road and shit? Mm -hmm. So this, was this like? He come on my podcast and shit. No, I seen him on there a couple times. You know, like, when people have late night shows, they keep like a little retarded person on the side. I ain't never know that they did that. That type of vibe. He like my little retarded dude. I be, I see, I ain't know like. Where my camera at? Your shit like right there. This one? I'm yeah, the little retarded sure. nigga. It's probably the one pointing at you. <laughs> they all Nigga said, it's probably the one pointing at you. <laughs> yeah, they all um, pointing at me. But he come on the podcast and shit, you know. That's the whole thing about this shit, like content creating. You want to get with people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And get mixy. He more of a skit bull, so. He got a more of a acting type of thing going on. And I want to get into skits and shit like that. So, you know, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to connect. And I ain't do that in the beginning. I ain't fuck with nobody. So I'm trying to, like, expand my shit a little bit. And that's crazy because how long y'all know each other? January. Because I feel like she just. I met him last month. <laughs> it sounded like it. Because when I talked to him, he was like, man, I'm like, bro, why you ain't posting? This nigga said. Cause I'm, I'm fucking with the stand up, and you like he's more of a skateboard. So like y'all don't know, yeah. He do both. He do stand up. He yeah, do stand up on the sure. side. Okay. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. Like that's what I'm saying. A lot of these little Instagram comedian niggas, they don't do stand up because they can't. Mm. A motherfucker that can get on the stand up, that's a real comedian. That's who separate the boys from the men. Like that's rare. You don't hear that a lot. I feel like that's a fact, but I do feel like a lot of people, a lot of comedians that's doing the Instagram thing, they know that, so they they go into like the. The stand up world because they know that's a stigma and they don't want to be in, placed in that box. Yeah, but it's rare though. Most people out of 10, there's a hundred of them, fucking seven of them might do stand up and three of them would do it good. At the end of the day, you could sit in your room with your phone in your face all day long, but until you stand in front of a room of black people, like, come on. How long, how long did it take y'all to, um, to say, take it from Instagram to stand up? Because I feel like you, you was doing comedy for a long time. Derek, I don't know how long you was doing it, but I know. I was doing skits before I started stand up for sure. It was just the easier thing to do. And you was, I'm assuming you was doing skits or you, you, you started doing both? I never did a skit before. I put the camera in my face, I talk my shit, I go viral, I don't even tape it twice. Mm. I've never done a skit. I did, um, I went viral in September. That's the first time I ever went viral. September 2018, I did stand up by December. I sold out my first show. You a legend. I am. Yeah, I am. You definitely give her respect. I mean, like for real, like I, I don't know about legend, but I tried it in the beginning because I didn't want to be scared of it, because it never was in my plans. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I was, I had a whole different kind of lifestyle before I did this. So once I went viral, I'm like, oh, it's lit. I can make some money. Da da da. Somebody asked me like, you want to do? You want, you ever do stand up? You want to try it? I'm like, yeah, I did it before. I'm lying. 
and I just did it, and it, and I like it. Shit, I tell people all the time, like it's like a different feeling. Like mm-hmm. it's like you high. Like if you know what it feel like ecstasy. You ever take e pill? No, I haven't. <laughs> That's next on my list, though. I gotta get. I gotta gotta you get never that done. Never took e Nah, so I, I started doing Personal. drugs late. How old are you? I'm 31 now. You 31? I thought he was like 25. Yeah, nah. nah, I started doing drugs late. I was playing ball up until like college. Shit, I graduated late 2017, so I didn't really start drinking until. Wrong with it. You just, nice that ball? It's just dweeby. Yeah, I played college, bro. I, uh, I um, I started drinking 10 years ago. Yep, 21. So I really, I ain't really, I ain't even experienced all the drinks and Molly, shit. Molly, nothing. Nah, I, I just, I just did a shroom. shroom. That shit How was lit. That? that shit lit. I just did that shit for my birthday this year. You probably still high. <laughs> nah, that shit cool though. That shit great. I mean, if you are, if you are a great, a good person for real, like if you got good energy, that's what they, they say. Yeah, they say it's supposed to like bring out the real you. I said, I guess I did that shit twice now. That shit is fucking amazing. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. They shit. say that you unlock another level of your brain that wasn't wasn't open. Man, that shit is a vibe. So, how long did it take? Well, you said it was a couple months. Mm-hmm. How long it took you to to jump from skits to probably like two years? Sheesh. I always knew I wanted to do it though. Like I would watch Cat Williams kill a crowd. You did skits first? Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Skits was easy. Skits was just did in the you room. Go viral first? Nah. Oh. I never went viral like you. Like my best video is the one you seen. But you've been viral before. I was just asking. What? You've been viral before though. Nah. You don't listen to that. I call what you was viral, like where everybody, like everyone and their mother seen this shit. Wait, what's what's viral is viral, nigga. What you what you do before. that you what she saying is viral? My best video was the Siamese Twins video. Right, that was the, well, that was like, wait, you did like a lot of numbers on that shit. Yeah, yeah that's viral, he's weird. He's that's weird. not, what's a million I mean, viral, like, no bullshit, I did more views on her page. Let's like go so, 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 so you think, wait, so you think a million is viral? Yeah, like, let me tell you how when crazy, it makes a difference. Let me tell you the crazy shit about this shit now, right? I don't even feel like that shit is viral no more. Yeah, see, a million, a million, please. Viral goes by your 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 following, in my opinion. If you have ten thousand followers and you could crack something and get a hundred thousand views, you viral on your level. You that's where niggas fuck up at. Like you setting your numbers against people that are bigger than you nah. and have a bigger engagement with you. It'll grow like your following does. I ain't even setting it to like nobody else standards for real, to keep it a hundred. For I think like so the uh the um. Viral to me right. is like the movement you create behind your shit. Not even that. Like, don't be. Why you being weird to me? How many views that do? On what? We can't count them. On, on. Let's say on Instagram alone. On my Instagram, I hit a million. On you did. My, it was just one million. Yeah, but hell no. No, because but you I think gotta about. listen. When I when I made the why you being weird to me shit, they deleted my Instagram page. I went. I got a new Instagram page. I only had 500 followers at the time. Mm-hmm. It was only 100 people on the live. That page went from like 500 followers to like, to like 182k oh, yeah. in like two, three weeks, and it hit a million views. And then they deleted the page. I only had it for six weeks. So, why that? Why you being weird to me? Shit really went viral on other people's shit, not mine. Like it didn't go viral really from me. Everybody started doing reenactments, and that's what made it so big. All right. So from 500 to 182, I think that's viral. Right, For but sure. I see I've had videos that did millions of views. Like literally, I ain't get no hundred followers, hundred thousand followers from it. They don't go like that. And then another thing is, you could crack a million on Facebook easy. My first video on Facebook I ever did, I got three million views. My mm. first try, like Facebook is weird. I got saying that. I got three million views on Facebook. I go outside, nobody know me. A couple months later, I get eighty thousand views on Twitter. And when I'm walking down the street, motherfuckers yell at the car, is your pussy pat ready? Because Twitter's a yeah, different you the, world, yeah. you feel me? Twitter is more right now, like, real people. Facebook is like old niggas and slow people. All my teachers and my parents, I don't even post on that shit. Yeah. I don't even want niggas to know. <laughs> it's just crazy. I say that because, like, bro, I did a million on Twitter. I did a million on Instagram a couple times. I did a million on, like, but the fact that you got 108, that's viral. Yeah. Like, now, if you post, post some shit and they could do 100,000, you get 100,000 followers from it, that's viral to me. Yeah. That's how I look yeah. at it. I don't yeah. really look at the views no more. Yeah. I look at how many people come from it for real. Yeah, but they fucked up their algorithm so bad. It's hard to crack numbers now. Which really. which one you think is the worst? With the algorithm? Yeah. I don't know nothing really but Instagram. Like I ain't really I don't really like TikTok, my sound millions Always and millions of sounds, sounds but muted. my page is dead on TikTok. Like if I post a video, they take the sound off. If Every I post time. something, they delete the page. The the girls use my sound, they cool, but I can't do that. So my voice viral on TikTok, but not me. 
It's confusing. Nah, it's, so, <laughs> I was, so I, um, it's crazy because I, 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 I agree with you, but I feel like Instagram, both, they both bullshit. I post some shit on TikTok. They take all the sounds away, literally. Like mm -hmm. every post I post, they take the sound away. What the fuck is going on? They say the key yeah. up is it like me? I go viral with saying I suck good dick, I fry good chicken. If I start the video with I fry good chicken, then it'll, you know, it's like the way you place the start and the end of it. You can't start on, and then somebody else told me, you gotta play music low in the background and make them think it's a song. Cause it's an Asian app. So you can kind of trick them in the. <laughs> Man, that shit is some bullshit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, that shit, ain't gonna that shit is some bullshit. Listen, I swear to God, bro, even on Instagram, they can show niggas getting killed, literally getting murdered, getting shot. Yeah. They show niggas getting killed, bro. I, I think I I commented under somebody DM like I mean um somebody picture like yo I hit you bro, yeah you violating you going against our policy yeah yeah I, somebody was like I posted dancing shit some shit on, on TikTok or some shit and a girl was like oh you dancing I'm like pull up next time I'm gonna beat you in a dance battle you going against our policy yeah, yeah. I, I said um, I stabbed a tire I got you can post this real stabbing on you good I Swear. got um I <laughs> did um no jumper you know Adam yeah, yeah Adam and um. He was like, why you only, why you, he's like, all these black people using their page as black creators for nothing. Why you the only black person saying something about it? And I was like, I don't know, that's a good question because that's really what it is. It's black people, it don't happen to nobody really but us. But when they did that update on Instagram where the bots start catching what you say versus I guess people or whatever, it seemed like they set the app up to catch shit niggas say. You know what I mean? Like if I say, I'm getting my face beat, a white girl don't say that. Right. I'll get an infraction for that, you feel me? Where she might be able to say something different and they don't even catch it because they didn't. It's racism, That's I really believe that shit. It's crazy because we was having a conversation with uh, the guy Theo Wiesa, he, he, he do a lot of Because we make it paper on this app. Nah, facts. We getting okay. bread, they don't Niggas. like that shit. Niggas Ain't getting it, rich nah. off this shit. Ain't it crazy how social media is really becoming the young niggas specifically like it's like their real life for real. Mm -hmm. Especially since, uh. The pandemic. Mm -hmm. you, you you notice that? What you mean in real life? Like it's like a lot of niggas doing a lot of gangster shit on social media. Niggas like beefing on. It's crazy. And I would think that it. I would think like that shit is weird. But somebody told me they was like, bro, these young niggas is coming up in a social media age, so that's what they do. Yeah, they like. No, I think it's weird, our age though. group is different. I'm older than you, but it's still like with us. We didn't grow up with social media. These little niggas been on in the social media since they was in second grade, third grade. So if a nigga a shoot a nigga in real life, he might say it on his Twitter. Because right. it's like, nigga, this is where I live. I'm on the gram. I'm on. They don't care. It's like all my young boys, they don't look at it like the cops or nothing. They look at it like they're being themselves. And these niggas get mixy. So, you know what I mean? They nah, facts. openly it, talk about it. It's crazy because I was saying, like, that shit is weird. At one, at one point I was saying, bro, like, that ain't no real nigga, right? And then somebody told me like, bro, you crazy. Like that's really their life. You really have what they would deem as real niggas or would really bought that life and post it on Instagram because that's just all they know. And yeah. it's just like, damn, like what are the shit? With, with us, you a clown if you yeah, do that our sure age, but sure. not them. They don't, they just don't look at shit like that. Like I had family like in jail and I'm like, yo, delete your Instagram while you in there. They gonna pull up at court. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Public page on there with pistols, all that. And I've been to court and really watched a DA pull up a nigga Instagram. Is this you? Is that a gun? Is that a Glock? Is that a... They just live on the edge more. I don't never want to be that old nigga that's like, them young niggas, they suck. Because we was wild compared to the old niggas. You know what I mean? So You don't feel they like y'all was different. smart at all? Like... I was, we had was, social media, so it wasn't a smart thing. We, we was just, just no. as dumb, but it was just a different level of dumb. And then it's like more... Niggas got killed behind money, behind making money. Now everything about respect. So a nigga have no money, but he got 14 bodies, and people respect him for that. Call a nigga the Grim Reaper. He don't have shit, not a same as nothing. He's a fucking bum. But being that he killed people, he get respected. Like that's what it is out here. Now it's more about your rep and like how you how you get it in. Like that's how they. That's what they. That's what it seems like they care about. They I, respect murder more than they respect money. I do feel like they want to be viral gangsters. Like I feel like everybody want to be the known gangster. I feel like everybody watch Lil Durk and then become popular gangsters and that's what they try to follow. Yeah, I, it, it's just crazy because I personally don't think if you in the music industry, you you can't be a gangster and making music in the industry. Like in the industry, I feel yeah, like. That's what niggas think you What if do. you get signed and you're a gangster already? You supposed to not be a gangster? Yeah, that's, I, I don't think so. You should be a gangster, but 
it is niggas that try to live their life. But I feel like a lot of niggas we see get locked up, getting killed, rest in peace, everybody's soul. You know what I'm saying? Free thugger. Free thug, you know what I'm saying? Free gunner. I just feel like the niggas that, that's doing that is really is showing and niggas getting indictments. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. The niggas that's flourishing, they might have did something, but it's like they still talking this crazy shit though. Like, clearly can nothing be on them because everybody that's getting these indictments and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's, yeah. That hip hop cop shit real. Um, I just feel like when you used to, you from the hood, you know how it is. Like people get stuck in one mindset. So it's like you live your life, you sell drugs, you do this, you get in the shit with people, or even niggas that's in gangs and shit. You live that life, then you get signed. Boom. Let me ask you this. That's thing. what made me think of like Bobby Schmur. That's a perfect example. Like a regular street nigga, your crib, he living his life. He threw a video in Aeropostale Postal sweat. So you don't think he really ready to go? That shit go overnight. Niggas expect him to all his ops to disappear. It's not like he still live in Brooklyn. You still gotta carry a pistol. You still gotta. You still did shit to people. They want to do shit back to you. So I think it's unrealistic. It's like we love this gangster shit. We want to listen to it and all that. Then you find out the nigga a gangster and he a dummy. No, he's a gangster. That's why you download his fucking mixtape because you thought this nigga was in it for real. Like mm. people just be on fake shit. Like everybody real judgmental. I've been in jail before. I made mistakes before. I've been called dumb before. So it's like I don't look at shit the same way as other people because I lived that life before. So it's like, and I know how hard it is to transition from making money fast to making money slow or doing shit the honest way like they say you know what i mean like for me like i don't re I, I never really respected american law right so it's like we got laws we gotta follow and we gotta do all this stuff right cop will pull you over blow you in the back of your head nigga get off a couple weeks get his job back so why the Suspension. fuck can't i steal a pack of chicken breasts if you're not looking you know what i'm saying i feel like no no i get it and, and the lawmakers real shit Fuck we, them. Why yeah, you gotta really, listen? No, we can't really respect them because there is a contradiction. Like, the whole world is made off of shit. I don't even want to get too political because I'm not that well versed in it, but I know the whole world is made off of, like, let's just say capitalism, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like they could change the laws at any given time. Let's look at it. Before we even look at weed, let's look alcohol. They had alcohol was illegal. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you was getting time for illegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you was getting time for alcohol a long ass time ago. Mm -hmm. Boom, it's legal. They put it in all the, all the urban urban uh, neighborhoods on the corner of every fucking block, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. After that, it's weed. Niggas, is go Niggas had a lot of time for, for fucking selling weed. Mm -hmm. Now this shit legal, and niggas is making millions off of this shit, and niggas are still locked up for that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get it when I say, like, I get it when you say you don't respect niggas that make the laws, because it is. It's like, and it's uh, to be honest, bro, I know I, I wasn't planning on getting political, but I just feel like you really can't even make it to the top Unless you do some some bullshit and for just sure. get away with I it. I agree for with sure. you. Let's for for it, not only was alcohol illegal, cause I don't mind getting fucking political. Cause you gotta know something, dummy. Because that history okay. repeats itself. You don't know what's going on. That's why you be stuck. I hate niggas that I don't watch the news. I'm like, like, nigga, we live here. We gotta know what's going on. And you definitely gotta know the history of shit because everything happens over and over. So you can peep the blitz before it come. Alcohol was illegal, right? Mm -hmm. So alcohol was just what crack is and drugs is right now. Some of the most richest families in this country right now, some of the most like like prominent families, the Kennedys, the Trumps and shit, they all was bootleggers, which means they was fucking drug dealers. And mm -hmm. right now they're looked up to. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. If niggas was bootleggers, it would be a whole different flow on it. And, and, and I was about to go, in that, go into that because... Damn, it's so much I wanted to talk to you about. I'm so smart. Let's, 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 let's go into it, right? I'm just intelligent. Let's go into it. You are, uh, one of my favorite artists is Jay-Z, right? And he talks about it all the time, how he had to sell drugs, and he, and he got through that, and he was like, bro, we, he was like, he was like, what'd he say? He said, Jesus turned um, water, water into water. wine for Hovind just took a stove. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That, I mean, if alcohol was illegal, some would say wine was somewhere near, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like, I, um, I say that to say, I look at Jay-Z life, right? Where Where is the the people that come from our community that's like Jay-Z? I feel like Jay-Z is like one in like I mean, a hundred. For me to make thousand. it that far, I feel like he's one of a thousand, but I feel like there are people who do trap to fund their music careers or yeah. whatever. Some people but make But billionaires it. though. I mean, we don't know too many black billionaires that come from the slums anyway. So what does that, no, no, we, no, yeah, exactly. Nah, my point, we don't. But the one that we know, maybe not Kanye West, but I'm pretty sure he did some shit. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like yeah. the one percenters all did some bullshit. 
All had to do some bullshit. Mm, that's a good yeah, point. That's to, my. That's what I think. Had to take risks. That shit is crazy. Um, speaking of Jay Z, you, you're a hip hop head. Yeah. You fuck with hip hop. How you know that? <laughs> Why wouldn't I know that? That's crazy. You did your research. I love rap. So you, Jay Z, God did. What you think? Um. Don't get up here and say no bullshit, man. Come on. I'm just not like like. I became a home fan late. You know I became a home fan? Because of, I came uh, home from jail. Somebody gave me an iPod with Jay-Z on it. I knew every song. But for then, I didn't even know I was a Jay-Z fan. Like, but I just, we was right. We, you but do, you fuck with Seagull? Beanie Seagull's my favorite yeah, rapper. Yeah, she played her for like Beanie two Seagull's hours my favorite rapper. All right, that's, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Be, I had to take him to history class because this motherfucker didn't know no Beanie Seagull. You ain't have to take me. Wait, no, wait, listen, what? he didn't know who Young Chris was. Phelps. That's true, but I Did knew who Beanie Seagull was. I mean, no, that's not, that's not bad, though. What? Not, I'm from Baltimore, so like when that's he not said bad, Young though. Chris, he said he he. You know what song he referenced? House Party. But that's not terrible. I should have put no, him up the car. That's not terrible, bro. What the I, fuck I got are you, you talking about? I got you, bro. That's not terrible. House Party. I don't think it's terrible. That's either. not terrible. That's Tough not love. Young Chris. Are we crazy? Young Chris, though. Your favorite rapper sounded just like him. Not really. For a whole not album, my favorite rapper. You're bugging. Not my favorite rapper ever. <laughs> you're <laughs> tripping. Never. Jay Z sounds just like Chris. When when he signed State Property, he took that little boy flow and he was 16, Bro, 17. Bro, you understand? I was Get somebody on the phone. State Phelps. Property. <laughs> Get somebody on the phone. That's a that's a fact. That's a known fact. That was um the group, right? Neek. The the group State yeah, Property. When he, he signed the them, group. Chris was you 16. He went up high 97. Did the freestyle. He's only 16. Jay Z had that boy flow. I ain't gonna lie. You just fucked me up because I wasn't even thinking of. Listen to the Dynasty. I wasn't even thinking of State Property. What were you thinking of? I was thinking of um, what's the two niggas? Um, ain't they from Philly? Uh, what's wrong Chris with you? and Neek or some shit. Chris and Neek are from Philadelphia, but they're a part of yeah, state but property. Didn't they have like a uh, the Young Guns? Young Guns, yeah. But I was still think, state property. I see. I wasn't thinking of state property. I was she thinking of Young Guns. What's up with so it ain't that bad. But I knew who he was. But I wasn't thinking of state property. I knew who he young was niggas. Too. You could call it what you. I mean, I'll take that's that. That's great. Jay Z <laughs> had Chris. Okay. Jay Z had Chris flow. That's a known thing. That's oh. just, just you know. I'm just letting you know. Hey, I mean, I ain't tripping. Chris is an important part of rap history. How did he do on God did though? Yeah. I mean, he, he did what Jay Z do. That's what I'm saying. It's Jay Z. What does that mean? You know what Jay Z gonna do? He gonna come through, say something about something real expensive we never heard about. <laughs> wait, wait, nah. You know nah. What that's I mean? what you got from God did. And he, I mean, listen, I liked it, but it's not like I'm like, yo, put on that God did. Like, nah, I'm not. No, so I'm banging you, I'm talking the verse. I, I get it. The song cool, whatever. The verse though, you saying? He, I never played it back. I heard it damn. once. I enjoyed it the one time. I said, damn, Hove, you did it again, nigga. Let's move on. I'm here in 2022, baby. I'm listening to 2022 shit. You know I what I'm saying? I feel like this is his best I'm not version. one of so them old niggas I throw dread. Hove on. So like, what you listening to in, in 2022? Because if you're a rap head, it ain't a lot of rap going on. What did on. we listen to on the way up here? Um, Finesse two times. Precisely. I listen to Gun. I listen to Thug, of course. I listen to, um, I don't want to say that out loud. Was then y'all going to be thinking I listen no, to No, go him. ahead. Say that shit. We play black youngster, but it don't be judgy about that. Oh, black like, I like cool. him, but I don't, I don't listen to him. You know what I mean? I don't. I just feel like none of them, like, if you want to say rap, rap. What's the nigga from uptown, upstate New York? Uh, You know what I'm talking about. Grizzilla Bongo. Yeah, nah, Grizzilla. I mean, he's in Grizzilla. Benny the, the Butcher. Name? Yeah. Benny the Butcher. It's a group. You say you rap. I'm thinking of, like, Benny the Butcher. Listen, I like Lee rap. Ford I like shit. all kind of rap. So... When rap changed and got a little lighter, I enjoyed it. I listen to Yachty. I listen to Kodak. Like, what? No. Okay, I mean Kodak. Kodak, Kodak is fire. Y'all listen to Yachty. I listen to. <laughs> you said that shit again. <laughs> yeah, because I listen, I listen to drill rappers. This is a drill rapper from Philly Hood, Tali. I like Tali shit. I like. Um, uh, Core go hard from Philly, it. too. I'm trying to think of somebody Core from B more. Cool. I fuck with him. Yeah. I fuck with him. I fuck with. Uh, I'm forgetting so many people. I was just, but I mean, y'all got the young nigga out in Philly that's going crazy. Who? The young nigga that made the dance or some shit. Yeah, What's the fucking name? um, these thirty. Yeah, these thirty. Yeah, yeah. Um, he going crazy. The Philly goats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know All jokes mean. aside, them niggas is legendary. DJ yeah. Crazy's from Baltimore, sure. right? Shit, you can't say that on here. Nah, nah, I don't know. DJ Crazy is from Baltimore. <laughs> the one that say he made the Wu Tang, he say he created. He lied. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Like, nigga, you ain't make you saying. I'm glad I said this here on this forum. You got that out the way. <laughs> Yo. You did not make the Wu Tang, nigga. He's a liar. So let's go into it, man. I um I had a lot to talk to you about. So you you lit right now. Dumb lit. 
going crazy. Oh my God, super crazy, booked and busy. You stuck, but you you in the industry now. I guess so. She's one of them guys. Yeah, and you can't you can't deny it. But you know, I'm from Baltimore. You from Philly? Um, I fuck with you. I fuck with Baltimoreans. What side you from? I'm from West Baltimore. They say don't trust them East Side people. That's what they see. They say don't trust y'all. Now they get yeah, they get down crazy. Yeah, I say all my niggas from the West Side in Baltimore. Yeah, shout out to Baltimore. West Side niggas. They say more you know like uh flashy or getting money that's what they say oh, okay he saw niggas cruddy that's what they say okay um, cruddy yeah i mean can't trust them rob you back door you stab you in your back that's what they say I that's mean. what i heard myself that's what they say baltimore, East general, baltimore. i just I, I love baltimore i feel like it's Do like you? Philly. yeah i feel like we cousins i feel like there's a lot of talented people in I don't, baltimore is pretty wild philly not philly is wild but but it, every time I go out of Baltimore, like I, I'm literally accosted physically. It's about to be a fight. Like somebody wants to get physical every time. Like it's always some fight shit. You go out in Philly, it's chill. And nobody, you know what I mean? Philly the is, worst thing yeah. happened to you on a Philly night, Philadelphia night out is you die. A guy try to right. talk to you. A guy try to talk to you. You don't talk to him. He cuts you out. Or you get shot by mistake. No big deal. Acc- accidental bullets. Boy, Those. she is crazy if you're going to say Philly and Baltimore are not alike. Philly and Baltimore is alike. They you go get a cheesesteak from the wrong spot. You're done. Not necessarily. I ain't been. And y'all got gangbangers. We don't have. We don't do that gangbang shit. Y'all gangbang. We don't do that. Don't no, know. if Philly is a big Muslim city, so you're either Muslim or you're not. But it's not like any gangs. Like only people that have gangs are like Asians or Latin people, Latin kings and shit. Uh, anyway, but I, I think they. I feel like in Baltimore, like I, mean, I feel like it's similar to Philly. If you minding your business, if some shit can happen. But if you really minding your business, you know what I'm saying? You out the way. Pretty cool for real. I love Baltimore. It's, it's a very, it's but what I was gonna say, what I was gonna ask you has is, has a great history. Being from a city like Philly, mm-hmm. and you see you, you're a real nigga, right? You you wear that on your chest, like you a real one. Right? I did not say that. <laughs> you ain't said that. I never said I was a real nigga. You a real? You want bet? I said I was lit. You want bet? I said I was a real nigga. Man. You said not nah, no, here. Saying you a real. You ain't said that on it. this platform. He said it but you said it before. Oh right, right, true. Good one, go, Mr. Hill. <laughs> woo woo. You carrying that, right? You wearing that, like, cause that's how you you feel like you made it in this in this industry. Bob, just being real, man, stand up. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't really know. I just know that. Like, that's the thing. A lot of y'all, a lot of people. Did this for a long time, years and years, trying, posting shit, going to auditions. Did it. That's not my experience. You know what I'm saying? I was a funny person, and then I said, t- you know, I tried it and it worked. So that's what's working for me. I don't know if it was working for the next motherfucker, but that's what worked for me, me being myself. I never tried to act like nobody. I never redid nobody video. I never had no cosigns and shit. I just did my thing and niggas liked it. So I don't know if I recommend you at home to be yourself i don't know but that's what worked for me i feel like i came out in a time where people tired of that fake shit everybody got the same body everybody dressed the same everybody talked the same you feel me the fact that i come out looking any old type of way i ain't give a fuck just being myself i think it was refreshing to women that's why i think i got such a strong female fan base because that's what it is it's like women behind me and they're loving like my child birthday come they send money my kid get a thousand dollars you know what i mean like they I know in my heart if something happens to me, I went to jail, these bitches will bail me out. Like, they really love me. That's why I don't even call them fans. I call them cousins because they feel like family. I can't even say I experienced a lot of hate. Like, them bitches love me. They don't make fake pages and they make real pages. Tip. Yo, I know you don't make no money doing this. Here go a tip. Mm-hmm. Like, women just showing love. Like, that's why I can't say, like, jealous. Did it? No, I get a lot of sisterhood type vibes and it's all kind of women. White, black. Prostitutes, whores, doctors, lawyers. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. No, I, I was asking that because you know it's a difference coming coming up in Philly or just coming up in general and for without background, right? All of us, I feel like we all can relate. And being in the industry around so many fake individuals mm-hmm. or so many people that just ain't stand up men or women or stand on that word. And I was wondering how is adjusting to that for you? Um I used to always say like like if you could survive jail, you could do this. But I met way more thorough people in jail. No bullshit. Like I can imagine. Yeah. Like I know thorough. I know crack kids that I could say, watch my son right quick. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't trust these motherfuckers. No. Nah, so I know you're probably looking like crazy, but nah, for real. So I always say, 
I'm from the hood. Projects from Color Homes, Projects, born and raised, you feel me? But I feel like I never was a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? I never was of the hood. I'm from the hood, but I'm not of the hood. And I say that to say, like, when I was coming up inside the hood, the niggas that were selling drugs, the niggas that was outside, they was in charge of watching me, you feel me? So I get what you're trying to say. Yeah. But far as hanging, like, just understanding how to differ, separate business from personal values, right? Um, how are you adjusting to that? Because people can... People can present themselves as genuine, but they just be bullshit. Yo, you, you know my business. <laughs> like, it's just, I mean, like, I don't know. I play niggas how they play me. Like, so I'm not even putting too much into it from the gate. Mm -hmm. Like, if I met you in this, you already had to jump a hurdle for me to fuck with you because these people are shady. Like, I meet way more shady, fake, superficial people than I meet real people. That's why the real people I have met in this, we connected so fast, because they show they thorough. Because mm -hmm. most of these people are just fake. Mm -hmm. Just stab you in the back. Like, this shit get crazy. People get crazy just over views. Like, I didn't realize so many people had a thirst for fame. You know what I mean? Because my goal Don't was money. Them. Right now, right? This is how much I don't fuck with fame. If a person contacted me right now, mm -hmm. said, look, I got this comedian client. We got bread. We try to make her pop. We want you to write for her, but you got to slow down on social media and you got to get out the line. Like, bro, you would never see me again. Mm -hmm. I would take that bread. Like, I would write for her. Like, I don't like that part of it. And I never even thought about that part. And just to see people, people will literally let people know where they're going to be at just so the crowd be there. Like, I don't know. It's just different. So, I don't know. I, I'm still adjusted to it is the answer. And it do suck. Like, these people are weird as shit. It's crazy because, Devil like, worshippers. And they all on powder. <laughs> all nah, of them. It, it's crazy <laughs> because, like, you'll see it. You'll think somebody, like, got your back if you allow it. And then you'll catch it. That's not. I say this all the time. I feel like, um. I'm never thinking nobody got my back in this mm. shit. Nobody. I got my back. Yeah, I'm the only child. I don't even have that back shit. I'm, I grew up by myself. I got my back. You said what? I said you'll get X'd out for some fame real quick. Bro, and not, e not even X'd. Like, niggas be on niggas' dicks. They try, to, they try to clout chase. They try to take your juice and move on to the next nigga with the, the, the next juice or the next chick that got the juice, and they try to take their juice. Preach. Like, niggas yeah. Yeah. real, like, Preach. leeches. Yeah. Like, that shit is crazy. And they jump on. That's one thing I did have to learn. Niggas jump on was hot and was new. So, like, if right now... A person might reach out to me and I might be excited because I'm a fan of them or they big. Whole time, their whole goal is to get that new buzz because they shit dying down. Now, I might not dig it because to them, I'm like, oh my God, this this person, you know? Whole time, they shit quiet. Mm. So they get a random bitch like me just to get the... And as soon as they can, you done. You know what mm. I mean? But that's what I'm saying. I maintain the same flow no matter what. So it's like, you can't kill me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't quiet. Like, I'm... I'm good at this shit, and I know I'm good at it now, so it's a wrap now. There's nothing nobody could do. Like, I'm gonna always have my lane. It's mine. If bitches wanna get in it, they can behind me, but it's always gonna be mine. That's the beauty about don't call me white girl. Who the fuck act like me? Who I act like? Nobody. <laughs> like, and I'm funnier than a lot of niggas. That's just a factual thing. So, I'm glad you said that. I like to get, like, vulnerable on, on the show a lot, right? You've been doing this for a long time. Right, fuck all the, the viral moments, people just getting on to you at the shit, why you being weird to me, making eyes for game. But even before that, you was lit. Mm -hmm. Been lit. You been here now. I remember at one podcast you said you you you, you happy that like it took so long because you would have felt like it would have been luck. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's kinda in a sense you was prepared. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. When you say it would have been luck. Like, you needed to go through everything you had to go through. I was just a real, where I come from, what I seen growing up and shit, I grew up just me and my mom, you know, regular shit. Nobody does well but drug dealers. And then my mom and them did well, but they was real smart. So you got to be real, real smart, or you got to be real good with basketball, or you got to have a hustle, you know, which is sometimes illegal, you know. So my mom was like a legal person. My father went to jail. My father did 10 years. So it's like, that's how I always had it, like, you know, this way, that way kind of thing. So I think I thought really negative. Like I looked at stuff like glass half empty. Now the reason I do that is because what well, most people do, we do that because of disappointment. Mm -hmm. Your pop say, I'm gonna come get you and take you to the amusement park. You think this nigga ain't gonna show up. So you don't cry when a nigga don't show up. Right. So with me, like it had to be like this because I would have never, I would have just thought it was like, oh, just, you know, 
oh, they just curious about oh, why she's so pale or is she black? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like, I remember my first one viral, the, the whole comments would be where I'm from, people arguing. She went Baltimore, she went Philly, she went, stuff like that. It had to be extreme like this or I wouldn't. I went from doing a podcast, right, to the number one podcast in the country. It had to be big jumps like that. Because mm. if it wasn't, I wouldn't have kept going. I would have looked. I used to feel weird. I'm in the car. I'm on the block talking to my phone. Like, I used to feel like a lame. But sometimes I would be on the block, tape an alley cat, and get three million views talking shit over the alley cat video. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, I feel like God was trying to let me know, like, this shit lame, bitch. It's safer. Do this for you and your kids and your mom. You know what God I'm saying? Because I got family. God did. <laughs> for real <laughs> I do I really I do feel like that I feel like it's meant to be and I also I feel like people at home like that's what's wrong with envy and jealousy you really see a nigga with the ball and be so mad hate the nigga want to kill a nigga it's like it's his turn like mm. you know what I mean like you gotta know when it's your turn and you gotta play fair when it's not your turn you can't be all hateful and jealous and you'll never get the ball like I this shit happened for me after my 30s like if I would have been my whole twenties jealous of other little bitches living these great lives or whatever, I might not have never got a chance to live my great life. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what it's about, like staying positive, thanking God. You feel me? Always putting the energy out, like thank you God for even looking out for me. The fact that I'm even alive, you know what I'm saying? That I'm not dead, I'm not in jail. Like I could really, literally be coming home from a ten year being. I for my first adult case, I caught a fed case. I was facing ten of life. Like I could literally be just coming off of that, like just getting my shit together. You know what I'm saying? But so you, I feel I mean, lucky. I feel blessed. But it, I, I want to talk to you about the times where you be frustrated. Because you said even like you had met famous comedians. I don't know if you said what, uh, Kevin Hart or Michael Blackson. And nah, I never some... met Kevin or Michael. I met, um, I I've met comedians. First of all, when I first went viral, I felt like. I just threw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was some lit comedians from Philly that, that, that tried to show you that. Locally, ass. legendary comedians from Philadelphia. For real, for real. Because that's the thing. You got the comic comics that do comedy for 10 years in and out the club. Hustle, even Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart hustle like a motherfucker before he made it. I don't come from that time. I come from a time that you get lit on the internet, tell your Ohio followers, meet me at this club, <laughs> give me $50. Boom, you just made 10 grand. I don't have to go to 50,000 clubs. I can tell my followers to meet me in their cities and I'm gonna pack that shit and I'm gonna make a bag. That's the difference. So to a comic that been hustling for 10 years and nobody know his name, he might feel like, fuck you, he's funny as shit. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a legend in his own right. But to a, a person like us, it's like, what? And they also experience a lot of social media comics that don't know how to do stand-up. So it's like that invisible kind of divide with us, you know? So when I was coming at niggas that I felt like was legends from my city, from my area, niggas was, fuck out of here. Like, oh yeah, all right. Like, oh, you think you could do stand up cause you go live? I'm like, no, nah, I could do stand up. Oh, you yeah. think you could do this cause you think you could pack a room cause you was like, oh, all right, just let it go. Like, all Is right. that just a Philly thing? Or Same niggas nah, in my DM. The, the, the stand up comedians don't respect Instagram comedians at all. But not even as just like the local niggas, was they giving you a hard time too? Yeah, Wait, like, are you from Boston? Like you from there? Yeah, 100%. Roxbury. Roxbury, shout out to Brock. I met like a black person from Boston. I thought the same Damn, shit, but they got a lot crazy. of niggas over there all got Now I heard it's crazy, but like my girl yeah. is from Connecticut and when she came to me, told me from, from Connecticut, I was like. Nah, Connecticut is like a whole nother state. But I heard it was from the hood too. I'm just saying like, these are places that I thought, <laughs> I thought it was like, when I hear like Connecticut, Boston, I think of like, like what the state. fuck? Like that's like. Nah, it really uh, is a whole nother state though. Nah, nah, I know. I'm saying when I hear of states like that, I hear of like, funny. just weird, but whatever. I know it's real niggas in Boston. That's what I'm saying, I got you, I know. Yeah, well I'm sure there's real niggas everywhere, but especially Roxbury. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Roxbury. Yeah. I fuck with Boston. So was niggas acting like that when you was coming up? Yeah, nobody nobody too. that does the stage shit respects an Instagram comedian. And I'm gonna be real, I kinda lost some respect for Instagram comedians as well because on the stage there's no 10 takes, there's no, you gotta get them people what they want. And they pay money to see you, to make for you to make them laugh, so they not, they're not taking so y'all don't fuck with no Instagram comedians like that. They not. I funny. mean, don't get me wrong. I have friends that make Instagram videos, but I know it's a different ball game. It's like if you watch a nigga play in his driveway and he get crazy, then y'all go to a real AAU league or whatever, and he's trash. It's like it's a different game out here. So who was the funniest Instagram comedian you think? Um, Big Bro. What you mean? All right. So who, who is the least See, funniest Instagram him. comedian? Least Apollo, funny. Brother? That is throwing it today. Oh, nah, a lot of these down. niggas suck. All right, damn, all right. Bro. All these niggas suck? No, I said a what lot of them. What's the fuel? You on some <laughs> shit I'm saying you said I am the best. Who the fuck? Who, who the best? Who, 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 who you think the worst Instagram comedian is? You started off. Nah, I'm an answer, so y'all answer first. I heard I'll what answer? your man said last yeah. week. 
Who? I heard what y'all said last week. So who you think the least funniest is? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you think the same person? Funniest. Oh, you agree? What you mean agree? You said you heard what they said last week. Yeah, I ain't say it. So you agree? No, I don't agree with shit. (laughs) I can't even think of who (laughs) I would say is the least. So who is y'all who who is y'all least funniest Instagram comedian? Damn. I don't know who I would say least. Phelps, who corny on the Who suck? Phelps will tell you. Phelps will tell you what the That's Mr. Is. No Filter right there. Um I could tell you who lit. Fuck who not. Who top funny. five? Right to me right now. Don't call me white girl at number one. You gotta go for Dylan, five. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan site. Um, five, four, three, two, one. I, I like, like you. There's no order. There's no right. order. This mine, no order. I'm gonna give it to Tiz215. That nigga funny as shit. I'm gonna give it the uh Damn, that's hard. Desi Banks? Um Drewski. Drewski funny as shit. Desi funny. Desi funny. So is he in your top um, five? <laughs> nah, he's not in my top five, but he funny as shit. Um he can't be that funny if he's not in your top five, but okay. Nah, it's, I really like comedy. Like, I Tiz, really like Drewski. him. Tiz, Drewski, Southside Jill, my little brother. He's pressure. He's pressure. He's funny as shit. Um, head, you know Conehead? That's him. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay. Conehead. Um, That's crazy. And, fuck, I got to throw a girl in there. I'm going to give it the, um, damn, what's her name? This is fucked up. Fuck. Yeah, TK. I'm gonna give it to TK. She, she. That's who make me laugh right now. Damn, you, you fucked me up with that one. I thought she you was gonna say just hilarious. Just hilarious, funny as shit. Be some own funny as shit. Okay. What's your, who you talk about? Like what you mean? I'm actually I'm going with Big Bro right here for sure. Um, Desi Banks, Drewski. I like Rito Brown. He's out in LA. He's from Cambridge. Um. That's the city outside of Boston. And number five. Steady rapping. Fucking Southside Jew. Number yeah, five. Yeah, Jew funny. Jew underrated. You know Jew? He the one that do like the little meow meow, like with the dead cat the on the street and faces shit. faces and shit. Not the yadas. You don't on. remember feet is on ground, Joe? Like the gas <laughs> prices? Oh, probably if I see it. No, nah, my bad. All right, so. Talk to me about. Um, Wait a minute, I just want to know. I was curious who you think your least funniest is. Really Y'all ain't think. give me no answer. I don't. You I give me top But you gotta give me like Bro, a gauge because I, I don't even know who to think of right so now. So who the least funniest? I legit yeah. can't think of nobody. I would say is like horrible, terrible. That y'all would know. Y'all yeah, don't I, I, know. I don't, I don't think I know nobody that you probably would know anyway. <laughs> I was just really crazy. throwing bait out there to bullshit. If you were going to say it, get the views back. up, get the numbers Tell up. That's I don't know, nigga. I'm telling wow. you, I really don't know. This it, shit is getting crazy. And I wouldn't you know never was my like, publicist. I never want to see this nigga Call video Call your publicist. Oh, yes. no. That's what we know. We're going to have to edit this bitch up. We're going to chop this up. No, hell no. Fuck that. Real shit. It is people that's like. They irritate me, but I just can't Who think of nobody. I'm trying to think. God, get it. Give me a second. I had it. Well, we know one because we be sending them to each other. We know that. We shouldn't say it though because we might work with them. That's my boy. Oh, y'all on some bullshit. Nah, it's it's my y'all nigga. is on case. some bullshit. We're trying to start comedian beef now. We're going to be beefing the videos at each other and shit. See each other at the show fight. They y'all about to zo- fight for they real. They about to zoom into the phone. We niggas. You know how niggas Yo, get down? No, that's you? you. I like her. No, the fuck you don't. Yes, I do. That's my friend. Let me yeah. see. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I can't even do that. I don't want to that's him, though. Cause I that's him. him. Damn. Look at God. God don't even want you to see. Nah, that's your nails. That ain't God. Listen, this ain't frozen. Nah, that's your nails. All right, hold on. Talk about look at God. I'm just, because it's negative. It's like super that. negative. Let me see. I can't even see. Right there. I'm about to show you in there. You probably don't even know it. You need glasses if you had to get that close. Yeah, my shit. You never heard of her, right? No, 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 she got millions of followers. Look at my shit. My shit good. Yeah. My hair is big as hell. Oh, shit. I'm thinking you told me I let's see a comedian. Yo, the worst. question. When you first did the video, like you said, you first got, you first went viral, you start having your own shows, right? And you start bringing yeah. uh, even local comedians with you, right? Mm-hmm. Getting niggas money. Yeah. Why breakbeat media? Oh, you yeah. kind of good at this. It's getting on my fucking nerves. I'm just curious. How long we been here? Why you ain't just... Like, nigga, you, you just, just researching all that? Like, come on now. Why you ain't just... 
I mean, I would say something, but I probably fuck my shit up. So I ain't even gonna say that. Um, but you know, okay, I mean, why wouldn't I do my research? Let me tell you. Okay, I'm, you better. Okay, you know I partnered up with Breakbeat Media. I partnered up with a guy named Dave Mays. Um, I'm a hip hop head. I'm a rap person. I was impressed by him. His history at the source and shit. Dave Mays is part of the reason. Biggie Smalls, DMX, like people I grew up really big fans of. He was a part of their careers and shit. Legendary shit like um, Suge saying, you don't want nigga all in the videos, all in the rap shows. Like the fact that he was a part of that, I was impressed by that. He also took kind of like an L in his career. And this was like more of a comeback, like a second coming. And I could relate with that because me being on such when you partner with a bigger platform, you take that risk. So the fact that I was on Million Dollars Worth of Game and it was such a big deal, such a Goliath, the moment I was off, niggas said, oh, they fired you. Oh, what happened to you? You ain't got nothing. People would DM me, like, random, like, go back to the ghetto, bitch. You know what I mean? With your kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, some people looked at me like that, too. So, like, I like the underdog story, so I partnered up with him to fuck with him. And it's like I said before, I'm multifaceted, like, I have my hands in a lot of shit. So I was like, yeah, I could do a podcast with Brigby. And Brigby was brand new. So um, I was just impressed by that. So I decided to team up with them. And this isn't a break. My Brigby situation isn't a, um, you know, I'm a part of ownership. So, you know what I mean? I sit on the other side. And, you know, I'm on the creative side and okay, the ball side. Okay, that's different. See, that's the, yeah. that's where I was going. Because I'm like, if you start, you you off the rip already knew the business when you came into com comedy. Because it's my second podcast. This was my second no solo dummy. podcast. I did my first with solo Tom podcast. Flaws? Tom Flaws introduced me to podcasting. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my first studio, da, da, da. I did that podcast, paid my rent, did it every week. Nobody watched it. I used mm. to get dressed, be flying that bitch, get guests, get everybody lit up. Nobody watched it. So I already had an experience with that, you know. So, and that's the thing about niggas. Like, just because you do something don't mean you'll be good at it. Like, you got to be humble enough to know you do need to partner up with some people that know how to get shit popping, know how to get. Because half motherfuckers I know start podcasts don't even know how to get audio listeners. Mm. How the fuck you have a successful podcast? Nobody listens to it. That's where podcasts has started at. This visual was second. This is newer to podcast world. Audio is where the money at. If you had any fucking sense, this is million dollars for a game here. Right you know here. what I'm saying? So it's like get it partnered with people. Add real ad deals. Ashley Furniture. Real shit. Even though I appreciate Cardi's Chicken Shack money too. Like I will take your money, Shaquita. You know what I mean? But at the same time, partner with a you know what I mean a bigger corporation and shit like that. So. Um, that's why I did it, I, and I and I and I feel like it works both ways. But knowing the kind of person you are, you stay in indie, knowing that you're the accountant, the security, the this, the that. You got to be able to do all those roles well if you try to make some real money. Sometimes I wake up at two o'clock. Like I needed niggas to be, you know what I mean. And even the team I built, no, they're nothing like me. Never been to jail, you know what I'm saying. Get up early. PowerPoints and shit. My, I, my, I feel like I got the hottest producer out. One of the hottest producers out. You feel what I'm saying? Um, my podcast, I do these clips that come out weekly, right? Them clips is cut together so well. I have fans of the clips that never watch the show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's his name, Dre Smith. He puts them clips together. That's us combining. This nigga ain't no street nigga. We nothing alike. He from PG County. He from the Burbs. You feel me? Nice life. <laughs> nice looking nigga. Beard all neat. You feel me? That's my guy. Listen, that boy got me lit on them clips. This is so crazy, cause this how ignorant Baltimore is, right? I swear to God, I would say the same thing about pre PG niggas, but you know it's, it's hood niggas in PG. Yeah. But when you said it, you was like kind of referencing to like. I mean, well, well I'm gonna say this: he's a suburban PG County saying. nigga. I no, cause I got no, DC I'm niggas I'm too. I'm with you. I'm just. Saying. I got DC niggas as real street niggas, so let's make that clear. But you know, DC and PG is totally different. But, but they close, right? We don't have to spend time. All right, because I can't get all the DMV nonsense. We, we get Baltimore is closer to PG County than DC is. That's what you just said. It's closer than um, PG County and DC is. Uh, like like distance. Hey, hey. You're talking about distance or how the people act. Oh, okay, okay. So I was asking. <laughs> I was asking. So PG is ghetto is what y'all saying basically. It's hood niggas and P that's it. When you say he from PG County, like he like a, a square or something. Is this a, so if it, I were to say, oh yeah, he's so he, you know, he a square he's a suburban nigga, he from Baltimore. Would that make sense? Exactly. What are we talking about? 
But just like you said, it wouldn't make sense for being from Baltimore. I'm saying some people from PG would be offended like it don't make sense from being from PG either. But I get oh. what you're saying because I would have said the same thing before I explored PG. That's okay. it. That's really it. Yeah, I but, probably ain't gonna do too much. Yeah, yeah, PG. yeah, whatever. But Can't all I was asking is shout out to PG. Kelly. So you did it because it was it was a, it was right on the business side. It was good for me at the time. That's what I wanted to do, and I um I don't know. I just I, I and it took me. Five months to sign a deal. Like, I ain't just sign. Like I had. Nah, to, it's crazy because I would assume we went like, back and forth and back and forth until okay. it was right for me, and I liked the way it looked, and you know, that's hard. And we started rocking out, and it did. I mean, you figure you go from a brand. It's a brand new YouTube. I'm cracking six hundred k. You know what I mean? Like that's a fucking big deal. So you only did that because you. Cause you built your. Own, that's what I'm confused. You built your own team. You could have did the same thing on your own and been independent. No. No, see again with breakbeat i built the team breakbeat in fact i didn't even find dre smith somebody else from the company found dre smith. okay 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 you understand what i'm saying and that's what i mean i feel like and that's the thing because it's like you saying stay indie stay indie with no you have no knowledge of my knowledge of it mm. so how could i stay in like how do you know if i knew how you know what that's I mean? what I'm asking, I'm asking yeah and i think that i think that a lot of times a lot of black small business owners or entrepreneurs they fuck up in that way because it's like if you're not going to educate yourself i'm talking about real education not an empowerment meetup where you pay some instagram bitch to teach you something I'm talking about college or taking a real course how do you expect to know how to do this niggas just jump in and just hope it work out and then you end up wasting a bunch of money your shit goes nowhere nobody knows who you are so like what's the point you know what i mean so for me I knew that I felt like at the time that I needed that support. And that's exactly what it is. It's just like signing a deal. Like you feel like you, you know what I mean? You wanna get your shit out, you wanna get your shit cracking, you want fans everywhere. I think it's almost foolish to think just because don't call me white girl, Instagram is famous, that they would those fans will go listen to a podcast. That's not how it goes. Mm. A lot of my podcast listeners, they don't fucking know my Instagram. They met it through the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Nah, yeah. I understand 100%. Yeah. I was just curious of the, the independent versus like signing with somebody. I ain't... Yeah, because I did it both ways, so. Um, Do you ever look back on a, um, I know you, you you say no, but just it been some time now. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever, and you said no because they went from you to celebrities, but do you ever now look back like, damn, man, that, that made Nigel for game shit hurt? Um, shit, it hurt then. I ain't gonna cap. Like, it, 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 it wasn't that it hurt. It was just, we didn't say goodbye or wasn't fine. So it left it so open that it was like, you know, it was a little rough. But it's like, the thing about it was, was that it was rough because of how people took it. I didn't take it rough. I knew from the beginning I was a guest host. Like when I my first day there, it was just like a trial. You know what I mean? We shot three episodes first day. So it was like, oh shit, they fucking with it. And then we kept going. I never was a co-host. A lot of people got that shit twisted. Like that is them niggas baby. Like uh, you gotta understand, understand that's the game, you gotta understand Gilly, okay? It's talking about somebody that rose and fell in the music industry more than once or in entertainment period right so you figure you got this group in philadelphia you try to make it blah, blah, blah. you get close jay-z offering them a deal it ain't right they turn it down boom it's gone state property gets the deal that major figures technically was supposed to have then they make it they go boom then you go again he with wayne and them he writing or whatever mm -hmm. he got wayne sounding like gilly the first carter every philadelphia person know that's gilly the kid back and forth just hearing them the ad libs all that you know and that's why would it why would it drop it like it's hot to lyrical Wayne? That's yeah. just a fact. You get that, that blow up, you telling niggas Gold he wrote DJ, it, whatever, Birdman, then Junior, it went down. People were like, you you know, they still fuck with Wayne. Wayne ends up being this huge star. This nigga get in his bed, talk a little shit, say that's a million dollars game, right? He turns that into a million dollar fucking thing. That's a that's a big dog. So it's like when you look at it like that, why the fuck would I become the girl of that? You know what I'm saying? Why that's his. You know? Because that's it's, it wasn't for me. It was for it's it's a it's a show. It's a it's a boys club. First of all, it's not for girls. It's really not a girl thing. Um, I think it was cool to have a female on there, but I don't think a female belonged on there. You know, guys. Some guys want to watch. You know, a guy show talk about sports and shit. I don't know the difference between a touchdown and a fucking in a walk, a travel. I ain't on that. That's not my thing. You know what I mean? So it's like. If you understand that in in their platform, you will respect the fact that. Yo, the fact that I even did it, I still get paid off that shit. I'm I'm on the game album. The game put me on his album. Something I said on that show two years ago. 
Like, it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. You feel me? They my niggas. I was with them niggas a week or two ago. Like, they my niggas. I fuck with them. It was never, contrary to public opinion, it was never, like, no argument or fight or nothing. They just moved the fuck on. Whether you liked it or not, you niggas still watched it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all watch it. Their views are great. They doing well. You so know what I'm saying? So you don't ever look back and be like, what if type vibe? Like, fuck no. I, my podcast by myself is the shit. I go hard by myself for 50 minutes. Don't nobody do that shit. <laughs> like, niggas can't, no shame, but niggas got to have six hosts. Niggas can't hold that shit down. You know what I mean? Like, I go 50 minutes and it's hilarious. You go watch some of the episodes and laugh the whole fucking time. I couldn't do that with them. I could barely get a word in. It's three big ass personalities trying to talk at once. Fuck no, I don't look back at that. Like, mm. I look back at it like, great. And when niggas call me and say, yo, you the girlfriend of this man, I was with the game. Can I pay you 5K to come see it for 20 minutes? Yes, I'll be there. And that's me. Like, it was good. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Like, what? No, I don't think it's a bad thing, but I mean, we hear me like sometimes niggas feel. I never think what if. It never felt like mine. And, and honestly, like, you feel like you're in a shadow because they bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? They so big that I was the girlfriend when I was with the game for like a year. It took a year for niggas to stop talking to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, to separate me. I came there, don't call me white girl, already buzzing. They shit so big and it locked us together. It was it, it felt good to get a part of it again because I am a one-man band. Like, this is it. It's me. Like, I'm good at this shit. I don't need no three-piece, no shade, but... No, nah, I mean, I, I fuck with your podcast. I watched the... Um, Do I you laugh? No, nah, I laughed a couple times. Yeah, it's funny. Nah, your shit cool. Like, your shit funny. real funny. No cap. It's entertaining. I need, I wanted if see. you like silly shit. It ain't for everybody. It's definitely if you want to laugh. You want to watch some 2020 Back to Africa shit. Positive <laughs> Sister Queen say shit. Watch that. I smoke Black and Miles. I talk about shit. You get on you get in your bag too though. What with black with sage? Yeah, on some serious shit, no. Like when you oh yeah, for sure. But it's like I'm not there. That show, the point is to laugh. I'm not trying to educate you. Like I, I hate people coming like, why did you say that? That's the wrong date. That's the wrong bitch. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just mm -hmm. cracking jokes. Like you know what I mean? So bro, you haven't like so so you you don't get bothered at all by like comments on YouTube or nothing like that. I talk shit back. Like I will get on, on YouTube page too? and call your mama whore. Yeah. All pages. I go right on here. Grandma, your grandma bow leg, your grandma ugly, you come from shit. I talk shit back. Damn, that's crazy. I don't ignore no shit. We catch right. <laughs> we Damn. talk shit. So Team Don't Call Me White Girl, you book us and put us out. Remember that? So that's why you don't be in, <laughs> I actually like that's why you don't be on it like that, because you be in Boston. Yeah, well, I come when she tell me to come. Yeah, he ain't no co-host, he a guest host. Yeah, I'm what she, I'm what she just <laughs> said. You feel, me? you feel good that you could be the one saying, telling niggas shut the fuck up now? No, shit, I was telling I niggas shut the fuck up. I think she'll do that before, yeah, yeah, I don't think. I was telling niggas shut the fuck up. No, nah, I just. you said when you was going to be in the game, it was their shit. You feel me? That yeah, was, for sure. It's just so shit, but like, personality-wise, I think she'll say it. I like, I like, um, I like, first of all, I'm the type of person, I'm putting my niggas on. I'm very loyal. You feel what I'm saying? We can all get it. And, like, I think that's a part of the podcast people like. Like, it's like you get to get in somebody's living room and chill. Some people don't have friends, talk shit, whatever. And they like you. They like where you from. You watching a person in Boston podcast, you feel like you're in Boston, you know? Okay. So, wait, do you think, um, speaking of the, uh, the podcast that you talk shit, is there anything that's off limits? Shit, yes. What? Uh, the LGBTQ all of them i respect them Alphabet community. got no trouble with them i love them they love me we family you think do you think you get canceled we are what nigga that got canceled like two three times on twitter already but that's what i'm asking do you think you get i just feel it like it happened they but, drags me but you hear that's me. not being canceled let's roll let's get past it i love them they love me <laughs> and that's what when i say you get bar. canceled that's all walks of life nigga that don't got shit that you just do with them you say the right shit and they will burn this motherfucker down. I don't beef with them or the barbs. I don't fuck with the barbs either. So Nicki mm -hmm. Minaj is off limits. No cat. So children are off limits. I don't want no barbs. I talk about oh. people kids all day long. Do you long. watch it? I don't talk about <laughs> 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 I don't Her first video was talking about I don't fucking fuck, kids. Yeah, that is fuck our first video. Baby. I don't fuck with Hell the yeah. barbs. I'm gentle. I'm in the beehive, but I'm gentle with them bitches too. Shit get crazy. He beef with all of them though. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Bro, tell me about- You don't um, watch your mouth? You don't watch what you say? No. Oh, shit. No, not really. Good I mean, I try, to, I try to speak- um, I'm trying to monetize this thing, brother. Intelligently, I'm not going to lie. I try to like speak on things I know about. If I don't know about it, I try to leave it alone because I'm not 
That Not me. Good. I jump out there, say the wrong date, wrong name, all that. But that's just I just said P and B was from North Philly. They tore me up, nigga from Germantown. Yo, how was that though? How was the P and B shit? Like. That it hurt, some big, it hurt that real bad. I'm a PNB fan. He's a huge PNB fan. He was very he was broken out. Every time I heard him, every time I called him in the background, I don't know what's going on. This nigga was playing. I mean, you had to pay tribute. He was torn so. up about it. I still got messages in my phone. I used to put niggas on with PNB. Like back, my favorite PNB was uh the come at, come up show Cosmic Kev. His oh yeah, he snapped he, like he 13 minutes. Yeah, yeah he, he went hard. I'm selfish. Did that did that fuck with you at all? You hate to see a black man die. I hate to see niggas die on camera. I hate that. Yeah, yeah I, I hate that the shit be on camera. Like I was explaining to my uncle. He was like, when Biggie died, it hurt. And I'm like, y'all didn't get to watch it. Like, we watch our rappers die, and it, like, I have a different feel, you know? Yeah, that shit is crazy, bro. Terrible. Like, even saying, mm, yeah. Man. I don't know what's going on. Especially, like, you could go watch somebody's story and then go see them on TMZ bleeding out. It's like, damn, like. I want you, you, know, you all to myself, I swear. When I see niggas pass away and that story is still on it, on, yeah. oh my god, bro, that shit hurt. Damn. So Mona, like, how was it? Like, how was, how was life now, man? Like, you lit? What's going on? Man? I just feel really energized. Meeting new people it was really great to meet you, mm-hmm. Baltimore, and um, it just feel good traveling. It feel oh, good traveling, working and shit. We want to get this tour rolling. You know, we gotta do a podcast tour too. So it's just cool. It's exciting. This whole part of my life is real exciting. That's good, man. You you came a long way for it. Like, I really did, bro. You were nice to still close. It was a booster. You have a like some. You got any extra large left? Thirty two, thirty four. You wear thirty four, thirty two, thirty four, thirty two. Yeah. If the price, I get you six pair of jeans for hundred dollars. Real? Back in the day. Oh, not now. I can still do it for real, bro. I mean, shit. If you give me some good, I need to get. Folks, my... can I still do it? Still got I don't that. Do you still that got that hair? What? Nice. Where give me some. <laughs> I mean, nigga, what? Give me <laughs> some. You you shit, I go in those stores now. They gonna be like, "Don't call me white girl." Was in here still in panties? I can't do shit now. That's dead. <sighs> don't don't be like popular, famous. You famous. It got his yeah, like it perks in his hard times. Like yo, you can't. Perks is the airport. That's it. But behind the airport, that shit sucks. Why? Cause it sucks. It just sucks. What man. sucks about it? Imagine walking in the room and everybody know who you is already before you say something. Imagine you just rushing your lips ashy, you running in, you gotta grab something. You running in, grab some condoms. It's two in the morning. It's four niggas that want a picture. With the with the magnums in. You just jumped out the pussy to get condoms. <laughs> Cause y'all thought about some shit. And now so, you can't get through the right edge. So do you say yes to everybody? Almost shit, yeah. I, I'm I, like. Yeah, I say yeah there for pictures. I don't say no, really. Damn. Yeah, that shit is tough, then. Yeah, it sucks. I think I'd probably be like, yo, come on, bro. Catch me on Niggas the stop you when you eating. They don't give a fuck. Nah. I, yeah, I, I ain't gonna I would say, like, bro, come on. What the fuck is we you got talking? to the airport with 30 minutes, 40 minutes to go. He like, we gonna be good. First bitch gonna know you. She gonna push us through. First bitch. Oh, my God. Free baggage, all that. That shit is good. Now, that's that's good. a different type of famous, like. Free baggage? She like, what's your name? I don't, I can't put, don't call me white girl on the computer. What's your name? Yeah. She should know your name. Bro. And my friends get fucked. Wait, what? They be fucking my friends. Oh, your homies. Oh, like my your male homeboys. friends get fucked. So you don't have no homegirls that be getting fucked off your name? No. No? Mm-mm, it's the boys. The but girls I, don't be on that. The I, niggas be on that. What you mean? Your homegirls don't be on that. Nah, but the niggas be on it. But that's what I'm saying. But the niggas be on it too. Don't 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 get it fucked up. Like niggas, can it's we be niggas real? Niggas that eat my ass for a repost. No cap. That's what I'm saying. But niggas main page or like I'm about to start letting niggas eat my ass for repost. Main page. They gonna be like, why she keep posting nigga mixtape? Cause he's eating my ass. <laughs> real shit. How I long you let it stay up? Twenty four hours at least. If you She's twenty four hours for the ass. There's a lot of niggas that'll do that for the repost. You oh, got a lot of followers. Yeah. Matter of fact, if you want to repost, just DM me and talk about it. It's like, this plan. Nah, nigga, but though. yo, I, so you, you you don't ever get niggas that want to holler at you just because you you? Yeah, and it's pitiful. I, um, it's bad. You I know was, niggas love a chick with blue check. No, I and, was. And um, a lot of followers. I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that. I was talking to this nigga, and it was around the time why you being weird to me first start going, but it wasn't big, big yet. You know, it's like getting traction. We in the car, I swear to God, his phone ring, he pick it up. The nigga say something, he go, no, bro, why you being weird than me? I said, oh, 
<laughs> I said, no, you didn't, nigga. No, you didn't do me like that. He like, why you being weird to me, bro? I'm like, groupie man, vibes. That shit hurt me. And I caught the nigga put me as close friends too. You know who you are, you fat fuck. Well, you stop. You instantly stopped fuck with him. Instantly, I swear to God. Did the you, next, did you, never talk to him again. At the did y'all have a fuck though? Like, come on. I'm just saying, cause it, that's that's change. If a nigga get, if a nigga really, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga really laying down, do you stop? Do you stop fuck with a nigga in that come situation? Come on, come on. Do you stop fuck with a nigga in that situation? I fucked him. I ain't never. I never talked to him again. Never. Just off of that. Are you crazy? That's not rude to you. That's yeah, not crazy. I don't think it's rude as well. You tell a nigga on the phone you with the girl from Instagram. But I ain't gonna lie. Though, if, if, if I'm with a chick and she be like, is her pussy good? She, I mean, I might. No. Try to blah, a man blah, to blah, do blah. that? Mind you, this man, nigga ain't even had Instagram. He was like, I ain't one of them social media niggas. You don't got no gram, but you calling me. Why you being weird to me? He told people the videos about him. Damn. No, that's different. That's a different. You ain't say that. No bullshit. That's crazy. Sad. You different breed. I ain't dated since. You ain't dated at all since that. Nope. Been single since. No bullshit. You talk all this sex shit. How long was wait? How long ago was that? I'm grown. That's last summer. It's last. Not the summer just passed. Last summer. I would think like a year. That's the longest I've been single my whole life. I always had a boyfriend. You a player? It's cool to be single. You said she what? You a player for real? He's lying. You talk all this sex shit, how you suck dick and yeah, I'm cook chicken and shit like that? I know how to suck a dick. I can't talk about my past life. I'm gonna mm-hmm. let y'all I'm surprised niggas ain't any of your DMs on that. They like, be yo, in my like, DM, but I don't trust them niggas, man. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust. I, right now, I'm not fucking with no nigga on social media. The fuck with me, you can't handle social media. Or at least you gotta get that shit up. That nigga ain't social got media. It. That's what he said. Lying ass nigga. Yo, it's it's crazy because you 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 on one side you talk about how um <coughs> how uh you talk all this crazy shit, but like you wouldn't want your um your kids to like you want to tell them that you were talking about your past life and you ain't doing this, and that's something that you hold dear to your heart, like your kids not going to jail and like not following yeah, behind uh, yeah, you. Yeah, yes, I don't want my children in jail. What about be saying, talking crazy shit on the internet? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. My son, funny as shit. Like, if hilarious. my son keep it up, he's going to be viral on the internet. My son is hilarious. My son's seven. He's funny as shit. He talk crazy. So you got two you got Two two kids. You yeah. got a son and a, a daughter. daughter. Girl and a so if your, if your daughter grew up saying, wow, shit, you. If my daughter grew up and she talked about her sexual experience, I wouldn't be mad. My mother's my mother's proud of me. Mm. My mother don't give a fuck. I was Shout on Jasmine's Su- I was on Jasmine Sullivan album, and I'm talking about how good the pussy is. She called me like, you know, uh, people say that about me. <laughs> 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 she like, yeah, you get that from me. You get, you know, you get that from me. Is that a hard yeah. conversation with your mom? Like, fuck no, fuck no. I don't come from that type of family. Like, I don't come from that. Like, I cussed it. I used to, I was allowed to cuss and shit like that. Like, you know, we made it a long way. Mom had to come see me in jail on the glass. Like, she happy for me. She don't give a fuck. I'm talking about sucking dick. I'm grown. Mm. Not wouldn't be embarrassed. Like, my kids could do what the fuck they want. As long, I just want my kids to be happy, self sufficient. And love God and love people. Like I want the kind of kids walk past homeless man buy him a slice. That's the mm-hmm. kind of kid I want. You know, no matter if they rich and all that, it's, it's want them to be happy. Man, well, now I appreciate you for pulling up, man. Don't call me white girl. You better because you got all in my business. I ain't even, a journalist. I, I really didn't. You did good. I really ain't get like I have so many notes here that I just said. I do interviews all the time, and I can tell the people don't really know me. I we just do. You wasn't there. Like when and I say there, and the when I say it's like, so much stuff I didn't tell to you about. Like literally, like. Well, you did good though. No, nah, I appreciate you did it. Good. I see you did your research. I nah. respect it. I mean, that's Mr. the least. Baltimore. I Baltimore. Shout out to the West Side. Yo, it's. Am I saying Conehead or Dirt? Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't a real thing. I call him Conehead. Yeah. My bad, heard, bro. I'm sorry. Name. Nah, you good. You good. Or oh, America. Mm-hmm. Either or. One of the three. One Do niggas really call you America? Yeah, like niggas I know. Wow, why is it like when that? I met her, you know, like the bigger group, people call me Conehead because of her. <laughs> no, you know, this nigga almost died riding dirt bikes. Mm. Yeah, he he's in a that. coma for three months. Motorcycle, he woke up on a uh, COVID. Pandemic. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. That's a we wild be talking, story. we be talking. You feel Dude, me? This nigga no, she shit. said it on our show. Oh, shit. yeah, she said oh, no, you it was uh, me and you that was talking. Yeah, you see, you uh, you um, it was her, his people's God, I think his father or his people's, your people's all uh, dirt bikes. They got an accident and shit. Mm-hmm, and yeah. You be paying attention. My dad slammed into the wall. My dad suck on the bike. Yeah. Shout out to my pop. We about to go ride nigga. tomorrow. Where the bikes at? I never rode a bike in my life. 
You, you from Baltimore, you don't ride no bike. I mad other shit to do in Baltimore than ride fucking dirt bike. You're you know, not a 12 what? o'clock boy. No, I ain't never ride no dirt bike. You know, girls like the meat meat boys. Meat meat. Some two strokes. Yo, you know what's crazy? Girls like everything. I feel like it was a lot of shit popular that ain't popular no more. Like dancing. Dancing was lit. Lit what? niggas used to dance. You don't see nah, if you could shake that shit. That shit. Nah, crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's some whole new shit that I'm just. They buzzing. Shout out to the fully goats. Shout I feel like him. girls like a nigga. If a nigga's good at something, she gonna like it. Whether like he's skating a used to be lit back in the day. Not for niggas, no. What? No. Skating you was lit. They probably skating, skating was lit wait, 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 back in the day. Wait, wait, you talking about roller skate. skate? You talking about roller no, skate? No, roller skate. Skate. Oh yeah, niggas used to do crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Roller skating is cool. I thought you were talking about skateboard. Roller skating used to be lit back in the day. Dancing used to be lit back in the day. Used to shake off. Dancing yeah. is still lit now. Roller skating. Was I was lit. at the paradox. You don't know shit about the okay. paradox. Okay, like what is he talking about? I'm very well versed. Cause you went to the paradox? Yes. The fuck, nigga. East Coast wise, how many Philly bitches went to the paradox? Like, come on. But I lived in Delaware a long time. I was in Delaware too. I lived in Delaware for a long time too. That's what really had me at the paradox. Delaware people, not Philly people. Don't call me white girl, uh, Derek. America. Yeah, conehead, fucking everything. everything. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, man. It's a wrap. One hundred. That's you covered, it. We good. You covered we your mouth everything? this time. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't call me white girl two E's in the IG. Don't call me white girl without no L. That's the backup page. Don't call me white girl on Twitter. And you can send me a cash app. We're going to put it below. M-O-N-A-0212. And if you want to repost, you can eat this ass and you might get a repost. <laughs> That's a way great way to end it. It's a wrap, man. We don't have nothing to say.